Hey guys, I just want to cover a couple things uh, that I think are absolute essentials for road trips. Now, this is for pretty much any kind of road trip you're doing, whether it's shorter or longer, days, weeks, whatever it may be. These are three things that you should keep in your car all the time, and you'll thank me later. So before we get this rolling, I do want to say that I'm going to drop all the links down below. Uh, these are my Amazon affiliate links, so they're not going to charge you any more money than you would normally pay for buying this stuff on Amazon. Uh, but it helps out the channel a little bit. It helps me, you know, get some more gear for these videos and you know get out and have some fun. So I, I'd really appreciate if you decided to buy this stuff using those links. Number one, first thing I recommend is an actual GPS unit that is not your phone. Now I've run into a lot of areas that don't have service, whether it be on the East Coast or the West Coast, wherever it is. And it's super nice to just have that GPS already hooked up with the directions. Don't have to worry about it. You could go ahead and get some paper maps. That would be awesome. Those are cool to, to read too and learn how to use them. But definitely have an actual GPS unit for that. Some people say that they use their car nav, which is fine, especially if you have a newer car, but they usually kind of suck anyway. So I just went ahead and bought an actual GPS unit. So even if you know you aren't gonna be losing service, it's actually way nicer to use that than the phone. So I've been using the phone for years and I just got this GPS about a year ago and I've been using that and it's, it's changed my life. One of the problems I ran into with using the phone all the time is you gotta have it plugged into the charger and then the screen's always on and your phone end up get, ends up getting really hot, especially if it's beating down in the sun on the dashboard. So it's just not something I wanna put my phone through. I'd rather just have the dedicated GPS unit and have the phone off to the side. One of the other things that's nice about not having your phone all hooked up is that if you gotta take a call or answer a text message via Siri, um, it's just a lot easier than having to take your phone down from the, the suction cup or whatever it is and have to deal with it that way. Also, if you're stopping at a rest stop, gotta run into the bathroom, probably wanna bring your phone with you because sometimes they're a little sketchy. So that way, you know, your phone, just grab it right out of your cup holder or whatever. You don't have to take it down and put it back up and put the directions back in. You have your GPS unit already set up with your directions. You hop back in the car and you're on your way again. Now this kind of depends on what GPS unit you get versus what phone you have, but the GPS unit that I got is made by Garmin and it has a bigger screen than my phone, so it's a lot nicer to just see the directions and scroll around on and check everything out. And one of my favorite things about the GPS is that they can come with fun features. So for example, mine comes with Amazon Alexa. So you know, you're cruising down the road, you get bored, you know, we've got my buddy in the passenger seat, say, hey Alexa, uh, play Jeopardy, or tons of other games you can play. So you know, there's, there's like some little comedic relief in there that you can have fun with. Uh, one of the other things that I really like to do is you could ask her about literally anything and she would pull up the Wikipedia page. So, you know, for example, we're on the way to Yellowstone. Hey Amazon, uh, tell me about Yellowstone National Park. And she'll start reading off the Wikipedia page and you can, she'll read as far as you want her to. So while you're driving, you can actually get a little bit of background and context and where you're going which I always thought was really cool. We do it when we're driving through like real small towns or getting to the parks or just any random thing we saw on the side of the road. So it's a great way to, to use that GPS to the fullest extent. The second absolute essential for your car or, and any road trip is to have wet wipes. Now I'm gonna cover quickly two different kinds, but I'm gonna focus on the one. So for longer trips, when you don't know if, when you're gonna be able to shower or if you're camping or whatever, I'll have some camping wipes. So that way you can actually clean off your whole body. It uh, gets a lot of those oils and the sweat off and you, you actually feel pretty clean after, after using those after a long day if you can't quite get to a shower or something. But what I really wanna focus on is baby wipes. So you can use them for tons of different things. My favorite purpose for them is going to the bathroom. So I don't know, you're, you're out in the woods, you're out in a, a porta potty, you're out in a, an outhouse or a rest stop, whatever it is, you don't know what kind of toilet paper they're gonna have. It's probably pretty crappy. So, nope, <laughs> that was funny. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> it's pretty crappy, so if you just go ahead and bring your own wipes, you know you're gonna have a very clean bottom when you're done, and it's just the way that it should be. Now, people don't really believe me when I say to use the wet wipes, uh, but I use them all the time. And one of the examples I say is like, you're dragging in mud from, you know, from your shoes into your house and you get mud on the floor. What are you gonna use to clean it up? Like a dry paper towel? That's not gonna get all the mud off. You're gonna get a wet paper towel or you're gonna damp cloth and you're gonna wipe it off. 
And that's how your hiney should be. If you want to be very hygienic, I think that's just the way to go. So when you're using these out in the wilderness, uh, there's going to be two other things that you should definitely bring and things that I personally bring. One thing is a trowel because you're going to have to dig a little hole for your doo-doo. So you don't want to just have that laying out. So you're going to have to dig a hole about six inches deep and then you know cover it back up when you're done so you leave no trace. And then the second thing is to bring little Ziploc bags with you. So I know it's gross, but you're going to throw the, the used wipes in there, but that way you're not polluting anything. That way, you know, zip it up, forget about it, go throw it in the trash when you're done. But that way you're not, you're not littering anywhere and you're bringing everything back out with you. And the third thing, which is very important, is to have not just battery uh, cables to jump your car, but actual, an actual unit that's self-contained to, to jump your battery. Because you never know if there's going to be another car there to help you out. So if you just have jumper cables, you know, you're going to be waiting for someone on the side of the road or AAA or something like that. And it's way easier to just be self-sufficient, not have to worry about flagging down another car or anything like that. There's been plenty of times when I've been out camping and my battery died and I didn't even feel like you know bothering someone else or sometimes your car is just in a way that it's really hard for another car to get to the front of it to even connect the jumper cables so this thing works like a charm there's actually one time I was out camping with no cell service probably about 10 miles from cell service and I woke up the next morning and a light or a door must have stayed open and the battery was dead now this would have been a huge pain in the butt I mean I would have survived because I could have walked to service but I would have had to walk pretty far out and call AAA or call another emergency service but instead took about one minute to get her going and it was mint. So I have the NOCO GB70 and the GB150 and the 150 is the biggest unit they have that's not really designed to be commercial so it'll it'll jump just about everything that's not a semi truck. So I wanted to get that just in case you know I'm dealing with a lot of diesels, 6.7s, 7.3s, things like that. So I wanted to be able to have the, the flexibility to do just about anything with it. But then I ended up getting a smaller one too for another one of my cars just because it's, you'll see, it's about half the size and it's very portable. They're both really great units and you can check what one you would need for your car or which one you're comfortable with having, but you should definitely check those out. And I know there's probably cheaper options, but I wanted to go with a, a name that was you know trusted and has been around a long time. So I decided to go with the NOCO because the last thing I want to deal with is being out stranded and then my battery jumper has a problem. So that's my last line of defense. So I want that to be the absolute top-notch quality. And I've used these dozens of times on everything from four-wheelers to trucks to pretty much whatever, dirt bikes. And I've had no issues with them whatsoever. They stay charged for a very long time. They have a lot of uses. You could end up charging your phone or really you could charge anything with them. So they're definitely something that you should keep in your car. Now, this is definitely not an exhaustive list of everything you should keep in your car. These are just three random things that I think are extremely helpful and I think everybody should have in their car. And I've done a ton of research before road trips, just doing some prepping and things like that. And these are three things that I think are overlooked pretty often. So I just wanted to throw them out there. If you guys want me to do some other videos on other stuff that I keep in the car with me for you know short trips, day trips, you know month long trips like I've done, I can definitely do that and give you like a whole long list of stuff, but these are just three quick and easy things that everybody should throw in their car. If you got any value out of this video, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments you wanna throw down below asking me any questions, uh, you can definitely do that. I'll be happy to respond. I, I love talking with everybody in the comments. It's really cool having a little community going. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna finish up my coffee here out of my Utah Rocks mug and uh, enjoy your day guys.